Hi, it's Mark Bunker from Xenu TV. I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who's been following me for the past 10 years, both on my website and now on YouTube and Facebook and MySpace and Twitter and, and everywhere else. I, I really do appreciate the fact that you've enjoyed the videos I've been making and shared them with other people and spread the word about Scientology's fraud and abuse. I've got a deal for you, Slappy Miscavige. If you stop abusing people, I'll stop making videos. But until then, you know, game's on. So, I made a video last night where I thanked some of the people who spoke out on Nightline, and that incredible two-part expose about David Miscavige's mental and physical abuse of Scientology staff members. I thanked uh, Marty Rathman and Mike Render and Amy Scobie, and I also thanked Jason McGay for, for you know standing up and speaking out. And A lot of people have been doing that. And and every time somebody does, it, it helps make it easier for somebody else to stand up and say, this is wrong. These Scientology abuses have to stop. There were a couple of people I meant to mention in that video, and, and I, I forgot. Um, so one is Mark Headley. My God, this guy is amazing. He has uh, incredible stories of what life is like inside Scientology, inside the Sea Org, and inside Scientology's desert compound uh, near Hemet, where the uh, uh, the iron gates are, are, are topped with motion detectors and barbed wire, and you know life is is a living hell for a lot of these people, especially those who are put on the RPF and separated from their loved ones for months or years. Mark's got a new book coming out uh, in about a week. Uh, called Blown for Good. I think it's released November 5th, and uh, I'll give you a link over there uh, so you can um, uh, pre-order the book, and and uh, it's got to be an amazing read. I know, uh, you know, just having met Mark and, and heard his stories in person, that this is going to be one spectacular book. And also another great book uh, is already out, and that's Nancy Maney's my Billion Year Contract, and that's a great title for a book right there. Um, and she uh, is talking about her experiences inside Scientology Sea Org. Both great reads, both highly recommended. This past weekend, I was going up to L.A. to Nancy Maney's uh, book party, or the, uh, the book release event. And I was going to shoot some video there and sit down and interview uh, Nancy and put that up here. And unfortunately, my car broke down, so I wasn't able to make it. Uh, but I will get up there soon and uh, do an interview with Nancy. And in the meantime, you know, it's a link there. Get her book. Um, while I was stranded at the side of the road, I called Tori to tell her that my car was dead and I couldn't make it. And kind of distraught over the whole situation. And she went on YouTube and actually made a video uh, and, and you know, suggested that people go to my website and click the donate button and, and, and help out. Uh, and I got home and discovered she had done this and a lot of you had done that. You, 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 you know, sent me a donation. And I got to say, I, I really am touched by your support and, and I, I thank you. Uh, from the bottom of my heart for, for helping out. Um, I, I went from, you know, kind of despair at the side of the road to uh, this really wonderful, you know, feeling of being George Bailey and it's a wonderful life. Um, and uh, it meant a lot to me. So, so thank you. Like, you know, every time uh, a bell rings... Zenu gets his wings, or something like that. Anyway, thanks so much for your support. Um, I'm not going away. I'm going to keep doing this. There's a, another big expose that's supposed to be com coming out shortly. So, David Miscavige, if you thought that you had handled this flap in the St. Petersburg Times by re releasing your Freedom magazine, you're wrong. Uh, it's It's continuing. Um, you're going to have to get a better spokesman than, than uh, Tommy Davis to, to handle this flap. And, and my God, did you see him walk out of his interview on Nightline? 
I think you have. I think everyone in the world has seen it. It's made it to the Huffington Post. It, uh, everywhere you look, the headline is, Scientology spokesperson storms out of interview. Tommy, you pulled this in. I mean, if you had just answered the question about Xenu, there wouldn't have been this worldwide attention on Xenu. It's amazing. So, Tommy, I, you know, thank you for being such a, a, a terrific spokesperson. Um, you know, there hasn't been anybody this good since maybe Heber Gensch. So, keep up the great work, Tommy. Slappy, don't be too hard on him. What are you going to say when somebody asks, Hey, do you believe in Xenu? I think, you know, here's my suggestion. Scientology, embrace Xenu. Just say, yeah, we believe in Xenu. We believe 75 million years ago, Xenu blew us up in a volcano, and we're now covered with body things, and we can help you with that. Just be honest about it. Sure, people will think you're nuts, but they think that already. And at least you're not lying. So that's my advice. Embrace Xenu. That's the best advice I can give today. Anyway, thanks again for everybody. Uh, I, you know, I'm here. I'm at Xenu TV. I'm everywhere you look. There's Mark Bunker with his damn camera. It's annoying, um, but I'm going to keep annoying people as long as I can, or until Scientology stops the fraud and abuse. So, Slappy, you stop. I stop. Right now, I'm pausing. So, see you next time at Xenu TV.